Hello Zebra Herd! Today we begin our ascent through the Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC. Agent 8 returns and teams up with Pearl and Marina to climb the Spire of Order. But that'll be no easy task. Each floor has a random level to it. But the farther we climb, the more powerful we become. So let's get started with the Splatoon 3 Side Order. Whoa, we're on the train again. I think we're heading to Ngopolis Square. This is sort of a flashback in a way, whoa. Oh, are we snoozing? Guess it's a long train ride, huh? What, what was that? Whoa. Everything's like glitching out. What is going on? Uh, that ain't good. Hey! Who's that? Whoa! We're like in a, a glitch world. It sort of looks like in Coppola Square, but... Hey! Hello! Up and out of me! Wait, eight? Yo, eight, you awake or what? Uh, whoa, so we're Agent Eight again! So cool! Do you know who you are? So I guess we get to choose our different style here. I'll keep with what we got. Any bruises? You seem good. I think we're good. What about a headache? You okay? Ooh, different hairstyles too. Honestly, overall, I'm liking the look of the one we had here. Can you see me? I can see ya. Let me get a close look. Oh, this is changing the eyebrows too. Whoa, neat. Word, that's the gate I know. Yeah. Everything here looks so pristine. Nice, if you hadn't come around, I didn't have a plan B. What's up? I got something on my face? Uh, Pearl? Oh right, you wouldn't recognize me like this. I'm Pearl! You know, your bestie. Why are you a robot? No, for serious, I'm legit Pearl. Not sure how I got this way, but here I am. Not sure where Marina went either. She's supposed to be with me. Hey, don't tell me you don't remember Marina either. It's cool, you just woke up. Might take some time for your head to clear. All right, well now we got, whoa. That's regular me on the left, okay? And then the one on the right is Marina. I like their outfits. You got any idea where we should go from here? Marina's usually around to help me out with that. Oh, duh. We should go find Marina. She'll know what to do. All right, come on, eight. Let's get going. So we're in a mysterious, very just clean world. Everything's like covered in dust or something. But we're here with the digitized pearl. Oh, this place kind of looks like it, the Incopolis Square. But how to get like this, Marina? Hello, Marina. This is like a mailbox. Pearl. Marina? Are you up there? Oh. Hang on, we're coming up, up to you now. Shake a leg, eight. Marina's at the top of the tower. So Marina's at the top of this thing and needs our help. What's up with this? Whoa. Are those lockers? I don't remember those being there. Huh, this place is so cool. What happens if I go over here? Whoa, I can just go all the way back here. Doesn't seem like there's too much. In fact, there's no signs of anyone. Sort of spooky. All right, we're going in the tower. This is so crazy. Whoa, is this for real? Wherever we are, it's nothing like the Incopolis Square Tower. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Keep your eyes open, this is the foyer. Heads up, eight. Whoa, whoa. Ah! A bony fish. Trouble's coming for us. Use these. Whoa, nice, some dualies. All right, well, you remember your way around a weapon, right? Press CR to show them who they're dealing with. All right, you got it. 
So we got some, I guess this, this sort of reminds me of salmon heads. We got more incoming. Whoa, little guys. Getting rid of them. I like the damage numbers popping up too. That one's huge. What did we get ourselves into? I don't know. I'll roll backwards and boom, got it. Whew. I think that was the last of them. Huh? Where did I get the weapon from? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. You, you just felt like something I had in me, you know? Oh, really? I wonder if you have more weapons then. But never mind that. The elevator's running again. So we can sit and scratch our heads all we want, but why bother when the answer is up there? Let's get moving, eight. All right. This is so cool so far. I really don't know too much about the DLC as we enter this elevator. I tried to avoid a lot of trailers. Whoa, who are you? I like your color scheme. You with those fish we busted up? Sick of mate. <laughs> Whoa, cool it. I'm not your enemy. Just another bystander who got sucked in. I take it you two followed Marina's voice here. Say what? You know Marina too? Huh. Well, nice to meet ya. First things first, I'm act. As for Marina and me, we go way back. For real? Yo, lead with that next time. I'm Pearl, and this is Eight. Cool meeting you, Act. I've been in the area since I came too. I heard Marina's voice from up the spire, so I came to find her. But those bony fish found me first. I call them gelatins. They're why I'm trapped in an elevator. Gelatins is a cool name. The spire is crammed with gelatins. This wound they gave me hasn't healed, so I'm stuck. Thanks. Things aren't looking super good for the home team, huh? Don't count us out yet. I've been waiting for an octoling with a drone. You said your name was Aid? You're the one I needed to see. Okay, Pearl. Now check out what happens when you set this color chip into that palette. So you were expecting us? Palette? I'm supposed to know what that is? Oh, are you talking about this thing? That looks like a palette to me. You got it. Now I'll set this color chip into it. Okay, but whatever happens is on you. Here goes nothing, Nate. Slap that chip on in there. Uh, sure. Put it right up there. Whoa. Whoa, is it me or did your weapon get stronger? If you set a whole bunch of color chips in here, you could walk all over those fishy freaks. No doubt. Play your chips right and you can make it all the way to the top. Whatever's going on in this city, Marina's in the thick of it, or so I'm assuming. But this injury has left me sidelined. Our striker team will be limited to you two. We're on an act. Deep breaths, eight. It's time to go find Marina. All right, well, here we go. This is so neat. Meeting all sorts of like, you know, new characters and environments here. All right, hit the button for the top floor already. Love to, but this elevator only goes up one floor at a time. What? How come? You mean I gotta be patient? <laughs> Pearl's worst nightmare. I'm in a hurry myself, but we play what we're dealt. We'll just have to take this a little at a time. Now then, we're almost at the next floor. Are you two ready? I guess so. So from what I do know about this DLC, and as you can see here, is that we're just supposed to make our way up the tower. We're on our easy floor here, 1F. We're up to 1F. It's the floor right above the foyer. Each floor has an objective you need to clear. Take care of that, and you can go up another floor. Your objective here is to destroy that portal. Also, the thing you set into your palette is a main damage distant color chip. Now that you've said it, your ZR shots will do more damage from a distance. Oh, there's a practice target right there. See for yourself how your shots do up close and at range. Well, eight, you wanna science it out or jump right into the mix? Uh, let me just try this out, destroy the portal. Well, it's right over here. So if I go back over this fight, it does more damage from a distance now than it did before. Pretty cool. Okay, let's figure this out. That cage will take you across. Ride the cage. Whoa. So I guess when this starts, 
this environment is crazy. You got like all these different displays with different things in it. Here we go. Whoa, we're flowing down. This is so cool. Dilton spawned from those portals. Watch yourselves. Do I have a bomb or anything? Oh yeah, I do. Nice. Um, are you ready for this eight? Okay, let's uh try to get up here then and start destroying some of these. And we just gotta bust up this portal. I have a max chain going on too. Oh no. Oh, it's on the ropes. Get back up. Keep trying to pop this thing, and boom, got it. What about all that stuff? One I've cleared. Well, I hope there wasn't any collectibles I missed. I don't know. But there we go, we get through the first floor. All right, that seems pretty good. I don't know if there was anything extra I had to do there. Cool. I knew he had it in the bag. Yeah, that was solid work. You're learning to make the most of your color chips. There are different kinds of color chips. You get one every time you head to a new floor. Here, I'll show you. So I guess for clearing that floor, we get a new one. Poison ink. What you're seeing is the next floor and details on the color chip you'll get there. That color chip is poison ink. I'd tell you what it does, but it's all written there already. It's cool. No teacher like experience, am I right, eight? So this one, the poison ink, increases the damage enemies take when they're on your ink. All right, so that should be pretty useful. Let's go first, this is home turf top floor. All right, so I guess we can just go in. All right, we're on the move. I'm guessing that each floor is probably gonna jump up pretty crazy in difficulty or we're gonna be getting through this really fast. We're on floor 2F, 3F, one of those. I count three portals this time. Same drill as before, right? No probs. The poisoning color chip is nice. Says here enemies take more damage while you're in ink. Oh, word? I wanna see. Shoot some ink around the base of that target there. So if I just go like this, you can see slowly taking damage over time. That's gonna be a pretty nice difference maker as well. So let's hop into this one and ride the cage. See, this one has orange crates. I can only imagine that with those, maybe we could uh, get some extra collectibles. But I see, you know, the three portals that we can take on here. I wanna break that, whoa. See that ink bottle? Pick it up and you'll get half of your ink back. Okay, so strategically, I probably wanna save that for as long as possible. Whoa, big guy coming in. So right when I'm about to run out of ink or something, I just boom, go grab this, hop down this way, and try to take on this next portal. And I'm low on ink again. So this is where I wanna hop down this way, grab some more ink real quick, and start popping this portal before things get nasty, because this guy's gonna close in on me. Uh-oh, come on, come on, gotcha. And then boom, one left over here, our final checkpoint coming in too. So I will toss that over that way so that I can go get another one, maybe. Boom. And then after that, whoa, hold on. Whoa, boom, <laughs> that was pretty cool. There's still more of them running around. So I gotta be careful here. But as my ink is refilling, I can just back it up a little bit and boom, more of them taking out 2F clear. That was cool. So these stages are pretty neat so far. Definitely a different type of gameplay than we're used to from the other Splatoon sort of story modes. You two are handling this like pros. Maybe you do have what it takes to reach the top. I was gonna ask about that. How come you know so much about this place, Act? Fair question. Everything I'm telling you, I'm pulling from the elevator console. I learned the trick from the same place Marina did, though I won't blame you for being skeptical. For real? I guess it's true that Marina's a turbo nerd when it comes to machines. If you went to the same school, I'm not surprised you could do the same stuff. Well, she was a few ranks above me. I want to put myself quite in her league. By the way, here's your next color chip. Okay, so next up we have a lucky bomb. Lucky for who? These lucky bombs appear when you defeat enemies. They explode on their own for big damage. Sounds great. I'm always wishing a bomb would show up to blow away anyone harassing me. All right, see, this is floor 3F special surprise floor. And with the lucky bomb drop, it increases the chances of enemies dropping lucky bombs. Lucky bombs explode from the closest enemy to the farthest. Very cool. And I should probably make sure with the palette, it looks like I have that on here, yeah. So I should be good just to hop into the stage. All right, so let's start this special surprise floor. Well, and we put the chip in right there. Very cool. So we still have quite the way to climb. 
I just love all the visuals so far. This aesthetic is really fun. Hey, you said Lucky Bombs explode on their own? Isn't that a kind of dangerous for aid? Nah, it shouldn't hurt either of you. Just them. Why, you worried? Hey, I believe the name. Just asking question, questions, you know? If you say it's safe, then bombs away. Huh? What's that thing? Looks from here like a canned special. Grabbing one will half your special gauge. Ooh. You use specials by pressing the right stick, remember? If you get mobbed, blast out with a reef slider. All right, so if I destroy one of these, it's not gonna make the bomb, but I guess it just has like a chance of dropping. Interesting. All right, well, we're right back to it. Feels like we're just like in a museum or something. Okay, hopping off. And I guess I'll get over to this one over here. We'll toss a bomb over there too and see if that maybe does a number. Oh, uh, it won't if it, if it misses everything. Okay, there was one of the bombs right there though. We wanna also drop some uh, ink, so that's pretty useful. Oh, more are coming in, more are coming in. Watch it, watch it. Let's get rid of you guys then. Just like that, I got a, and I got a chain building up too. Lots of cool stuff going on. I'll work on these guys. They're coming up from the portal. Come on, come on. I feel like the flow of everything so far is a little bit interesting to learn. I don't wanna get the reef slider just yet because I'm about to earn up this one. Or I mean, I don't wanna get the thing that's gonna enable me to get more of a reef slider. You know what I mean? There we go. This is so cool so far. But yeah, I'd love to hear, have you guys been able to try out the side order DLC? And if so, what are your thoughts on it so far? As we hop over here, try to get rid of this portal. Got it, that was really good. And that was it, three F is all cleared up. We got some good time there. I don't know if there'll be any kind of benefits for finding a collectible or getting a good time. So far, it doesn't seem that way. But with the special surprise floor cleared, we can move on. Good hustle, eight. I've got the lowdown of the next floor for you. Ooh, what, we get two color chips from this one? Twice is nice. Hey, I've been wondering, it says reward there. What's that about? It's how much mem bucks you get from clearing the floor. Not sure what those are for yet, but they seem like a good thing to have. Well, if you say so, table that for now, I guess. Eight. When you need a break from climbing the tower, press plus to let me know. I'll stop the elevator and wait for wait here until you're ready. No sense pushing yourself past your limits. Okay, so we're safe in the elevator. So the next one is gonna be the gliding floor. With this one, we're gonna get an ink saver, I guess two of them. So with this, it decreases the amount of ink consumed by your main weapon. That sounds really nice. So as we get farther up, things will surely get more difficult, but we are also growing in strength along with the difficulty. So that should make things really interesting. All right, so stage four F now. We're still an easy or on the gliding floor. What gives? I'm not seeing any portals. Different objective. This time, you need to ink that zone and guard it until time's up. Ah, kind of like splat zones? Ooh, yep, but I don't see a way to get to the high ground with the, with the zone. That wall by it looks ink proof. Probably just need to, to glide from somewhere high up. That's where I come in. Hey, if you ever wanna slow your fall, press B while in midair to hang on to me. You can move while hanging on to, li to land a good distance away but it'll only work in octoling form. Huh, that's neat. So, protect the zone, I'm gonna hop onto here. We've sort of seen the gliding when we jump off of this cage. But I guess with that being said, we probably wanna jump from this thing and like glide over. So for right now, just do that. I'll land right here, and then I need to, so if you wanna grab on, oh no, wait, okay, oh I see. Just jump and press me. What is this? Is that anything? I guess not. Is this one? I guess it's not gonna have any enemies until we protect the splat zone. So I jump, glide, and we're over. That is so neat. So that's like a platforming element that's like not in any other portion of Splatoon. Zone secure. Now the countdown starts. All right, well, I guess I just gotta keep this pretty gross. Those enemies are coming at us or spraying their ink all over. Not good. Okay. I'll try to knock them out from over here, I suppose. Uh-oh, that was sort of a bad idea. Jumping off might not have been my best move. Um, those enemies are pouring out. Oh no, 35 ticks left. Okay, so they're not actually over there yet, but they're about to be if I'm not careful. Ooh, come on. Get you guys out of here, cover this stuff up again. And then refill my ink right there. So I'll just wait for them to come to me and I won't jump off. Gen just 10 ticks left. 
are ticks like seconds? I guess so. So that might've been the last of them. There we go, 4F cleared. All right, well now we know. So with that one, we get two ink save remains. Very, very cool. So our palette's gonna be filling up more and more. Oh yeah, we're on a roll. You know, this drone's drone body's not so bad if it means eight doesn't have to do all the work. This next color chip will help with that too. Use it right and you'll be a powerful ally to eight. Whoa. It lets me use killer whale? Now we're talking. Whoa. So with this one, um, this is floor 5F, um, springing floor has drone killer whale. Allows the pearl drone to use killer whale. Having two or more of this color chip reduces the required points accordingly. That sounds amazing. All right, let's get to it. So we won't be the only one with our own special. We get the reef slider, Pearl gets the killer whale. We're gonna be tearing up these uh, gelatins, what are they called? We're gonna be tearing them up left and right. New floor, time to bust out the old killer whale. Uh, what? More like killer fail. Wait, what's wrong? Pearl, you can't use your drone features until the drone gauge is full. No kidding? Fine. Guess the drone gauge fills on its own after a while. Once it's full, look out, world. Actually, you don't even need to wait. Pick up that drone battery and it'll fill some s fill some drone gauge. Oh wow, that sounds nice. Now then, your objective here is to get that turbine tower to the goal. A turbine tower, huh? Fastest way I know to make things happen is to shoot him. All right then, so escort the turbine tower. Let's get over here and ride the cage over. Whoa, the little floating like jellyfish things. Okay, so I'll hop off from here and then the turbine tower I just shoot and it moves along. Very cool, very cool. And if I get up here, I can destroy some of these and get some of the battery there. Get over this way really fast, grab the next one. Boom, and we're already most of the way full with that. Oh word, these fill up tons of the drone gauge. We're at checkpoint one, do the checkpoint. Turbine, the turbine tower moves much slower through here. All right, your pass, checkpoint one. Yo, what just happened? I'm not quite sure, huh? Breaking through a checkpoint causes a shockwave. Now we know. So there's gonna be another one right here, right? There it is. How do we get up though? Um, I'm at checkpoint three. Was I supposed to be on top of it? Um, eyes up eight. There's one weird bouncy thing after us. What is that thing? Whoa. Uh, was I supposed to be on top of it or something? Oh, no way, hey, we got a spring. Oh, I see, so if I splat you, it gives me a spring. Whoa, <laughs> let's, okay, I think, um, I think um, Pearl used her killer whale that I didn't even notice. I was too distracted by everything else. That's pretty cool, we're past checkpoint three. I don't think I can destroy this thing, but we're up. We're back down, come on, move it, move it, move it. We're almost there, the last checkpoint. Trying to make sure they don't come in from behind me, but I think we're okay. There we go, interesting floor. Lots of fun mechanics in this so far. I'm really impressed. This is super fun so far. All right, so we get the drone killer whale as our extra little thing there. That's fantastic. Who are about at the halfway point? Cool, can't believe all this is going down in the middle of our big world tour. On tour, are you? That tracks. You're some kind of musician, I take it. Yeah, Marina and I are off the hook. The world's most powerful team, our powerful power team. Huh, so Marina hit it big as an artist, did she? Er, el, me, nation. <laughs> oh no, elimination? Marina? Hang on girl, we're on our way. I did not like the sound of that. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, good call. So, seems like at this rate, we'll be able to get to the end of the first tower here by the end of today. So, is she at the top of it? Is this a shorter DLC to not expect it? I guess we'll have to find out. This time we have double zoned floor, and with this one we get main range increased from 100 to 220% because it's two of them. Increases your main weapons range. Let's get to it. Definitely can make the most out of that one. Oh yeah, we're getting real close. The double zoned floor is next. Hold up, there are two zones this time? You'll just have to secure them both. I see disc pieces for the drone way back there. Put three of them together and you can give the enemy a taste of the, of the step off song. I don't know what that does, but I like the sound of it. 
Let's snag them if we can, eight. I also like the sound of it. <laughs> we got two main range color chips this time, right? That ought to help us keep them off the keep them off our turf. All right, so protect the zones. I'm gonna go over here, rod the cage. Let's see what we can get done. All right, let's hop off. I guess I can make it move faster. We're going to have to ink both zones here. Okay, so I guess I shouldn't worry too much about fighting them just yet. I should get the zones first. So I'll do something like that just to cover that up more. I didn't even need to. Sort of feels silly now, but that's okay. Zone secure, whoa, watch it. That's a splat bomb. Okay, now you, I'm taking issue with. So I'll toss it up there, maybe beat you up a little bit if I can. Just like that, I'm low on ink. Let's pick up these three pieces. Whoa. Two out of three pieces, one more and I can let loose with my step off song. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. The step off song, so that was pretty jamming. It didn't really hit too many people, but now I know what it does, and that's pretty useful in itself. Um, looks like nothing can spawn from the portal while it's being jammed. Okay, so that's another thing it does, very cool. So it sort of hold off, holds off enemies for a bit. Oh no, you don't, no you don't. Okay, I was able to put that to a stop. We're almost there, so if I can just keep going for a little bit longer, that's gonna be the win. These levels are so like bite-sized so far. We would definitely see a little bit more involved levels in the other Splatoon adventures, but I sort of like the vibe of it. We're on fire. Let's keep it moving and don't stop till we hit the top. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. What's up? The next floor lets you choose your own objective. You get a different color chip for each one. Different difficulties too. Well, you're the one with legs eight. Which way are we going? Okay, so that makes things really interesting. Here we have rolling floor. With this one, we have dodge roll attack as our benefit, causes a dodge roll with dualies to deal damage. This damage is increased by having the rush attack color chip. We have the escape artist floor, which this one gives us main ink coverage, allows you to ink more turf with your main weapon shots. And then finally, we have the hard difficulty rolling shell floor. This one gives us max lucky chain, increases the lucky chain maximum. The longer the chain, the more likely enemies are to drop items. Well, I would like the one that's long-term most useful. I don't know what happens if we fail though. So that's where things get a little bit scary. I think for now, I'm happy to take the challenge, but I am a little scared. So let's go for this one and see if we can't get max lucky chain. I'll just have to focus in here. Let's see if we can't get this next floor done. So we've been doing mostly just easy mode challenges. The color chip this time is max lucky chain. You wanna explain what a lucky chain is? Okay, so we got our chain up there. Beating two enemies right after each other starts a lucky chain. The higher lucky chain goes, the more likely it is that you'll see items or lucky bombs. So basically, we wanna go on a splatting spree. Huh, we're gonna do that anyway. All right, very cool. So destroy the portals. So I'll just go over. Yeah, I can speed it up, which is pretty cool. And then I guess we'll just hop off and get going. I don't know when the timer starts, but I just need to get this over here. Whoa, it zoomed off. What was that? Uh, It's like a top. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. So if I just push that over there. Whoa, okay. Get back over there and try to destroy that thing before it gets too much done. That is really neat. Okay, then over. Here, it's gonna send a lot of stuff my way in a second. Oh, it's not ready? I don't know if it's not ready or what. Um, here, let's do this. Boom, get rid of another one. That's pretty nice. They're all trying to attack me right now, which I do not appreciate. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, come on. Spinning top, that way. Whoa, so if it hits enemies, it doesn't really do as much for me. Is this, I don't think it's ready yet. Okay, oh, we got one of the discs. I definitely need that. Oh, we're getting all sorts of items because my chain is growing larger and larger, but there is a timer on it even if I'm attacking enemies. Okay, so I got the reef slide. I'm just gonna go and activate that and just really try to attack this thing and get it to explode. There we go. Is that everything? That's everything. We cleared a hard difficulty level in exactly one minute. <laughs> cool. So we should be able to get that really nice reward for that. We also get 130 of these points that I'm not really sure are gonna be what they're gonna be used for just yet. No sign of Marina on this floor either. I hope she's doing all right. She seemed a little burned out lately. I guess we've still got a world tour to finish. But after that, I promised her we could find a quiet spot together and take it easy for a while. 
so we gotta save her. Fast! Sounds like Marina met the right people after she got free. But this is Marina we're talking about, so I expected as much. Well, you know what they say, no one knows you like the folks you grew up with. Plus, Marina had to learn the language when she got the, to Greater Angopolis, so you gotta figure she struggled at least a little. I'd love to sit down and swap Marina's stories, but this ain't the time. Every second we spend chewing the fat is a second we're not finding her. I agree. Let's get back to searching for Marina as we have a choice here between easy rolling floor, which gives us dodge roll attack, or normal escape artist floor, which gives us main ink coverage. Okay, so it's the same choice that we had before, just minus the one we actually completed. Okay, let's just do the second hardest one then, um, the escape artist floor. So were we not choosing which one to do, but instead just choosing the order? Interesting. Maybe that's what they mean by side order. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Huh? Check me on this, but are those new enemies? They might just be, they're gelatins, just like the rest. You only have to beat three to clear the floor. Yo, they got wheels for feet? Won't that make them hard to catch? I think so. Well, whatever. You can take pretty much anything, eight. We've got this. All right, so defeat the fleeing foes. I'll give it my best shot. I should mention this, or should have mentioned this, but you can make the kids go away or go faster by clicking that. Yeah, I actually figured it out on my own. Whoa, these guys do move quick, don't they? But I get rid of one right there. Oh, two? Whoa, I knocked it off. That was so cool, actually. What do we got over here? It's some armor. Could definitely make the most out of that. So I'm just gonna attack that thing. Oh, it didn't quite hit you, but I got you cornered. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. Awesome. Eight F is cleared. So with that one done, as you can see, uh, we, we got some more money and we get through another four. We're at pretty high now, huh? But we're racking up some color chips. See for yourself. You can press X to check your palette. Whoa. One, two, three. Wow, we got a bunch. Yo, what's up with the range and power stuff over on the left? Those are the ch color chip tones. Color chips come in tones based on their effects. Each tone has its own color and pattern. The reddish color chips are in the power tone, so they mostly up your damage output. A once over at your palette will show you which color chips you, you're heavy on. Should give you an idea of where your, your strengths lie. And if you're done checking your palette, it's time to move on to the next floor. All right, well, that's perfect. Good to know. So our last one will be the easy rolling for challenge. We already know it'll give us dodge roll attack, so I'm just hopping into it. So it really seems like we didn't choose which mission we wanted to do over the other, but more so the order in which we do them. Which, hey, the last four being easy, maybe that's a nice way to do it. Whoa, what are those? Oh man, not those things again. Afraid so. You're going to have to get to the infinity balls over to the goal. Again? Why is Pearl acting like we've, I don't think we've seen these before. There's good news though. The infinity balls won't ever fall off the stage, so knock them around as much as you need. Yes, you're that eight. You don't need to hold back. The new color chip is dodge roll attack, which puts a little bite in your dually's dodge roll. If you really want, you could push the infinity balls around using only those. In case you forgot, you, you do dodge rolls by tilting L and pressing B while you're shooting ink. Give it a whirl by dodge rolling over to that target. Okay, so yeah, we can do this, and as you can see, we can just destroy it pretty quick. Sink the infinity balls. I know those are supposed to be like eight balls, but you just do the side, so it makes the infinity symbol. It's pretty neat. So I guess I'll just hop off here, and I suppose if I explode that, it'll send it flying off in the right direction. That's pretty cool. And if I want to, I can maybe, boom, knock that over there. And then, oh, did I already get it in? That was pretty nice, I didn't even realize. Oh, because I got it on that thing. So this is sort of like golfing. <laughs> I like it. Okay, it's gonna bring it in and boom, we win. I don't know if taking my time and knocking out enemies would be more beneficial or if doing it quickly is something I should prioritize. But either way, I get my clear reward and we're good to continue. Heads up, we're coming to the top floor. That's where we'll find Marina, right? Probably. Though something about it seems different from the floors up to now. Eight, Pearl, watch yourselves. What's this eight? 
Are they worried about us? Is something funny? Nah, you just sound like Marina when you say that. <laughs> but enough messing around. Let's go find Marina. No holding back, eight. This is it. All right, so the control room. Whoa. I don't think there's much to change here, of course, so let's hop into it. This is sort of spooky. What kind of challenge will we see here in 410F? Whoa, what is, what is that? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Is that Marina on the top of it? Is that, no way. Whoa, Marina. Hey, Rina, yo, can she even hear me? Guess not. She's all tangled up in that weird machine. Whoa. Intruders confirmed. Commence grayscaling. What? Sit tight. We're gonna get you out of that thing. Ready to rock eight? I sure hope so. Oh man, this is crazy. The administrator of order, Marina. Something, I didn't get to see it. That powerful barrier between us and Marina. Okay, come on, did we go? Well, now we know what to take out first. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff right away. Just like that, go, go, go. Detecting resistance to grayscaling. Oh man, oh man, got it. What did I get here? I got the special gauge up. We definitely wanna use that too. Is this a portal? It's kind of funny looking. It definitely is, but I exploded and was a big fish waiting for me. Scratch one portal, going over here. Boom, gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get rid of this thing then as fast as I can. I think those portals are powering the barrier. So if we get rid of all the portals, then we're gonna splat them off. Yeah, exactly the plan, Marina. Or Pearl. <laughs> I'm glad you're on top of it. Got it. Okay. Ooh. There's a lot going on here. I gotta be really careful. But we have a lot of enemies we can take out here. And because of that, we can increase our chain pretty high. Let's get this one next if I can. Oh my, oh my. I don't know if I can. Here, get over here and then explode. Got it. I really want to destroy this one. That was pretty good. I'm gonna try to get this Ooh, over here. Oh no, spinning top. Gotta be careful. I would like to just maybe make some distance if possible. We got one more portal kind of deal going on. Got it, I think uh, Pearl was using her killer wheel. Just press the decoys activated. Not good, not good. Whoa, this is getting really crazy. Let's get rid of the little guys. And then as soon as I can, boom, pop that. Get over here and I think that's it. Final checkpoint. That's all of them, right? I think so. Error, unexpected barrier issue has arisen. Can I break this thing? What is, okay, there we go, the barrier's down. I just shoot you. it seems like it. Whoa, hold on, hold on, be careful, be careful, there's people on top of me. Take out the gunk that she's tangled up in? So this stuff, I think so. Oh man, this is so much right now though. With enemies attacking us too, this gets really overwhelming. Come on, we got a free marina. Whoa, I'm low on ink, and I just broke my armor. It's almost down now. Come on, get rid of some of you guys. Go like this. Boom, that really does make a difference. For sure. Come on, keep on it, keep on it, whoa. Come on, I think we did it. Ooh, uh, watch out. We'll catch you. A little bit of a rough landing. Are you okay, Marina? Ugh. Is that eight and Pearl? Seems like she's okay. Uh-oh. But how long will we stay okay? What is that thing? Error, grayscaling interrupted. Intruders confirmed disorderly, classifying as dissidents. Who's this fool? I am order itself, a consciousness generated from the processes of many who yearn for stability. I have now fully realized, I therefore have no further use for this vessel. All things will be converted to memory. Whoa, this is bad. The tower's shaking like crazy. Whoa! Oh no, we got pushed off the building! Nintendo presents. Whoa! What is going on? This whole place is getting corrupted. Oh, down we go. Splatoon 3.
Oh, this is so cool, what an opening. So it seems like our journey through this digital, whatever it is, is just getting started. Ooh. Eight, eight, please be okay. I think we're fine. Oh, thank goodness, Pearl. Eight's woken up. Hey guys. Eight, thank you so much for freeing me. Surprised to see me in the flesh? Marina works some magic and bam, I'm back, baby. I'm really, really sorry. It was the dramatic days in Orderland module that stuck you in drone form and did all that other stuff too. Say what? Dramatic days in... Uh, right, let me back up a bit. This is the Memverse. It's a prototype VR. That is, a virtual reality that I made. Your virtual reality? Hold up, you're saying we've been in a fake place this whole time? That's right, the only real things in the Memverse are our minds. That fuzzy cloud we met was order. It took control of me and caused the whole Memverse to go haywire. It's forcibly connected who knows how many people to the Memverse. Their minds are all in here now. No way. Which is how I got pulled into all this, I take it? Act, I'm so sorry. I never intended for you to get roped into my mess. It's fine, we have other problems, like what to do about the situation we're in. You're absolutely right. We need to do something about order. Order's ultimate goal is a colorless world of order. A place where nobody has a will of their own. They just do whatever they're told, day in, day out. Orders using the members to make the dream of that changeless world a reality. What's its beef with change? Actually, hold up. I thought the members isn't real? Even if it gets what it wants in the members, who cares? The real world stays the real world, right? Yeah, about that. Order is using what it calls grayscaling to neutralize the will of everyone that's trapped here. So if someone goes through grayscaling here in the Memverse, it has an effect on the real person. That about summing up? Yeah. Anyone who goes through grayscaling will slowly start to lose their will in actual reality too. And order's just getting started. It plans to keep pulling people into the Memverse. If we don't stop it, people all over the world will lose their wills. Life as we know it will be over. Yo, that sounds bad. Not on our watch order. Again, I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. Nope, nah. I know you had good reasons for making the members. If that creep order hijacked out your work, it's gonna be sorry it ever tried. All right. We're all gonna kick that loser out together. Aw, oh, Pearly. You say the coolest things. That's so cute. All right, well, there we go. I guess that's why we fell asleep on the train. It's because it was us being brought into the members. Huh? Whoa. So you get to turn into the drone anytime? Nice, don't worry, Eight. I got your back. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so we're back at the order sector. What an exciting first run through the side order DLC. So as far as I understand, we'll be recurrently going through this tower getting stronger and stronger until hopefully at some point we can defeat order. That's the goal at least. We'll have to see how that all turns out in the next episode of Splatoon 3 Side Order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.